Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to copy and paste trade ideas from the Solex app. So first things first, from the Solex app, obviously you have all the different educators that you are subscribed to and there's the activity feed. If I was going to be taking a trade idea, let's say that there was an alert that just came out in real time, I'll be notified of that trade and I can click into it and it will look something like this. Now this is a trade that's you know been shared in hindsight, but I wanted to show you guys how to copy and paste this trade in real time for future ideas. So come back to this when you're getting ready to take your first trade and follow this video step by step. Now on this specific video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to copy and paste trade ideas from Solex onto MetaTrader 5 or 4. It's basically the same process, but in this video, I'll show you how to do it on 5. So the first thing is the actual asset that I'm gonna be trading. So this is, in this case, gold versus the US dollar, and it is a buy. And the next thing I'm gonna to wanna to take a look at is the type of order that this is. So in this instance, this is a market execution. So right here, right now, the only two things I'm gonna to have to worry about are the stop loss and take profit. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the stop loss price. I'm gonna jump over to my MetaTrader 5. And the first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is pull up gold. So. Notice how I don't have gold in my list uh, as of right now. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in XAUUSD and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add gold. So now that gold is here, I can pull up the chart, I can see the chart uh, for gold and I'm gonna be able to take this trade. So what I'm gonna do is from the chart screen, I'm gonna click on trade and this is where I'm going to fill in the stop loss price. So I'm just gonna paste that number in there the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take take profit number one or number two. Uh, yes, there are usually more than just those two. In this case, there's up to four. But just get in the routine and the habit of copying and pasting either number one or number two. All right, in this case, I'm gonna take number one and I'm gonna paste that in to where it says take profit. Now, the last thing and the most important thing that I need to do is make sure that I'm taking this trade with proper risk management. So. In this instance, right, and the best rule of thumb for risk management is on gold to do a 0.01 lot size for every $500 that you have in your account. So for this particular account, it's a $2,000 account. So I'm gonna take this position with a 0.04 on gold. If you're trading something like a currency pair, EURUSD, GBPUSD, you know, maybe it's CAD, JPY, whatever, you can do 0.01 per $100 in your account. So if I had $2,000, I'd be able to take a 0.20 on a currency pair, but because this is gold, it's not a currency pair, I wanna do 0.01 per $500 in my account. So it's only gonna be a 0.04 in this particular instance. And so, so once I have that set, I'm gonna click buy by market, and you'll now see that I'm officially in this trade. So now essentially all I'm gonna be waiting for is for either the take profit or the stop loss to be hit in accordance with this trade idea. And now this was a trade idea that I took in hindsight. So this is one that's already played out, but um, it's really convenient. You got the copy and paste numbers. You literally just go in, take profit, you copy that, put that in where it says uh, TP. Like for example, if you pull this back up, right? Market execution is what I have selected. If it was anything different, I would select something different. So buy limit, sell limit, whatever the case may be. Most of the time it's gonna be a market execution order. All I need to do is make sure that my risk is in alignment with my account balance. So 0.01 per $500 on gold, 0.01 per $100 on a currency pair. So something like EURUSD, CAD JPY, CAD CHF, whatever. And all I need to do is copy the stop loss price and input it in where it says stop loss. And all I need to do is copy the first or the second take profit. And I'm just gonna paste that in to where it says take profit. And that's where I can go ahead and click buy by market to be entered into that trade. And so that's that's it. It's literally that quick, it's that easy. It's pretty much the exact same process on MetaTrader 4. Uh, and if you're on MetaTrader 4, I would encourage you to transition to MetaTrader 5 because it is definitely a better experience, but it's basically the same thing. So, so yeah, that's basically how to go about doing it. And i um, looking forward to seeing you guys come up with us all in the charts. Best of luck with your trading. I'll see you on the inside.